As our weather gets worse this fall, which is uh, pretty evident this morning, and it will be even darker with daylight savings approaching, road and weather conditions will only get more challenging for all road users, especially during the darker later afternoon commutes. The time change coming up can affect us all differently. The biggest impact is key skills that affect the quality of our driving, concentration, alertness behind the wheel, and reaction time. If possible, try and keep your regular sleep and wake cycle. By going to bed the same time you normally would on the Saturday, you'll benefit from that extra hour of sleep. On mornings following the time change, you may not be as well rested or alert as you think, so just be extra careful on the road. Regardless of your mode of transportation, it's important that we all follow the rules of the road. We're asking motors to slow down and be patient. Don't be distracted. Put your phone down. In September alone, we wrote over our approximately 2,000 distracted driving tickets just in the city of Vancouver alone. We're reminding people to give themselves lots of time to get to their destination as well as to get back home. And for cyclists, it's very important that you're seen, uh, that you have proper equipment including lights and bells, and that you're also following the rules of the road such as coming to a complete stop at intersections, at stop signs, etc. And for pedestrians, it's just because you see a vehicle and that you're standing at a crosswalk, don't assume that they have time to stop. Make eye contact, don't step out onto the road until the vehicle has made a complete stop. It's really important that we all play our role in improving safety. Pedestrians are our most vulnerable road users. They account for only 1% of the collisions that take place, but over 60% of the uh, fatalities.